In this video, Brooks Instrument, the global leader in precision low-flow fluid measurement and control technology, presents the theory of operation for the third generation of quantum Coriolis mass flow meters and controllers. The theory of operation for Coriolis mass flow is based on the work of Sir Isaac Newton and Gaspard Gustav de Corioli. In the 17th century, Sir Isaac Newton developed the theory of conservation of momentum. A body at rest wants to stay at rest. A body in motion wants to stay in motion. In the 19th century, Gaspard Gustav de Corioli developed a similar theory, the conservation of angular momentum. We'll circle back to this as we explain how the quantum Coriolis mass flow controller works. The basic construction of the quantum Coriolis mass flow controller consists of four main components. A flow body, an inline control valve, a Coriolis sensor, and a printed circuit board. These Coriolis MFCs require a DC power input of 14 to 27 volts. When power is applied, the green status LED light on top is a steady green indicating the device is ready for use. The Coriolis sensor is the heart of the mass flow controller. It consists of the sensor tube, tube drive electronics, digital signal processing and optical sensors. With power applied, the drive circuit causes the sensor tube to vibrate at its natural frequency, much like a tuning fork has a natural frequency. This frequency is proportional to the density of the fluid in the sensor tube. Higher frequency with gases and lower density fluids and lower frequency with liquids and higher density fluids. This provides the user with a useful secondary output for process monitoring and diagnostics. When there is no flow going through the sensor, the two legs of the sensor tube are moving in the same plane. When flow is introduced, the tube starts to twist. The twist is due to the conservation of angular momentum. As mentioned earlier, this theory was developed by Gaspard Gustav de Corioli. The tube has angular momentum. The fluid entering the tube has no angular momentum. There is transfer of momentum from the tube to the fluid, which creates a drag on the inlet side of the sensor tube, all resulting in a phase shift between the two legs of the tube. They are no longer moving in the same plane. The phase difference is directly proportional to the mass flow going through the sensor tube. As the phase shift is measured by the Coriolis sensor, the signals are processed by the onboard sensor electronics, which interprets the data using advanced digital signal processing and translates that into a flow output signal. For a Coriolis mass flow controller, the user sends a flow setpoint signal to the device. The control electronics compares the flow signal to the user setpoint signal. If the setpoint or required flow is higher than the measured flow, the controller will open the control valve, letting more flow through. If the setpoint is lower than the flow output, the control valve will close, decreasing flow. This happens when a coil inside the magnetically actuated control valve sends an electrical current around the valve stem which move the valve plunger by thousandths of an inch. The circuit board is the brain of the device, so pay close attention to the electronics and firmware architecture when evaluating a Coriolis mass flow controller. The device should have the ability to support advanced alarms and diagnostics to monitor and correct issues before the overall process is negatively affected. Check to see what alarms and diagnostics are available. The Brooks Quantum Coriolis devices support not only flow out, but also density and temperature, as well as additional information. All the Brooks Instrument Coriolis mass flow devices are calibrated using precision weight scales, traceable to international standards, providing the best possible accuracy and zero stability. They are then tested and tuned as a complete system to ensure fast and stable control with robust performance. The accuracy, response time, diagnostic capability, and other features of the Brooks Instrument Quantum Coriolis MFC can help to improve the quality, yield, and throughput of your process and reduce scale-up time from lab to pilot plant to production 
for a faster return on investment and lower cost of ownership. Contact our flow experts to learn which solution is right for your process. Brooks Instrument. Beyond Measure.